the Valley of the Kings is this massive complex full of tombs and chambers in the middle of the mountain and it was the principal burial place of the major royal figures as well as privileged nobles in Egypt. Life is all on schedule, but dead forever I send my condolences to the site of the drive Some say I'm living in the moment I say motion, I ain't got no potion But we can touch the sky We are young Cause my soul is warm. In order to get in, you have to pay $10 And you have to buy a ticket if you want to take pictures inside of the tombs. For that you have to pay $15. Something that you need to get here too is the mini train because the distance that you have to walk from one entrance to another is a little bit farther away. That will cost you $3. Guys, this place is humongous. It has 63 tombs and chambers. Normally what they do is that they just open three tombs per week. For that reason you never know exactly which tomb you're going to see but in general all of them are so well preserved and it has so many colors inside that it's impressive to explore them. In our case, the tombs that we ended up visiting were Ramses the Seventh, Ramses the Ninth, and Ramses the Fourth, and all of them have so many details. The hieroglyphics were so colorful, but that's it. It's the only thing that you are going to see inside of the tombs. They don't have any type of gold or treasure because everything was stolen, but still really interesting to see how they were before. So guys, because the tombs are really nice and well preserved, you will be impressed. You will have the temptation of taking pictures. So what happened and something that we, we noticed is that people who didn't have the tickets were taking pictures and this guy approached to them, asked if they have it. They said no and suddenly he was, okay, so give me maybe half of what you have to pay outside or just give me a little bit of money. A few people fall into that and they give them money but normally if they catch you they will tell you okay you have to raise the picture or most of the time they will tell you okay just go and stop taking pictures and do not give them money. Something that we experienced too is that we were taking pictures in one specific area and this guy just told us okay you have to take pictures there because it's better. We tell him okay thank you and the guy right away told us okay just give me money because i told you where to take the picture so just be a little bit aware of these situations there and just ignore them <laughs> guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of my adventures here in Egypt